Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we are going to see how we can add a pricing table to our card website. So this is the pricing table that uh, you will add to your card website. This has a three column layout, is responsive, it has an annual and monthly toggle that uh, you can remove it if you don't have annual or monthly subscriptions. You will have the options to change the prices, to change the colors in here and uh, to add elements if you if you like. And uh, this table is fully responsive. So if you are going to check in here, you will see that it will look nice on the devices. And um, to add this pricing table to your card installations, you just uh, need to go and uh, buy this. And in here you will be prompted with the details that you will Add, and at the end you will be served with a zip file that will contain an HTML file. I have here open the HTML file. So basically you will need the Pro Plus plan so we can embed code into your current installation. And in here you have the HTML code for this pricing table. You can change the color. So this is basically a variable that will change the color everywhere. The color that uh, will be changed. Let's open it. You will see that you have the color in here you have the active one the the color you have the color for the button so basically this variable controls the color for uh, all of these elements you can add a gradient one you can add uh, a normal color it's up to you you can change the font if you want and uh, you want to use a different font and in here you have the options for the html and in here you have the uh, cards and in the card section you can add elements in here you have the li options the html one and you just add the options in uh, your pricing uh, table you have the options to change the price in here so you can add your own prices for the basic plan you can change the name of the packages you can add your own uh, link to your service if you if you like and so on so every card it has the pack name and it has the price and it has the elements so and the button so you can add as many as you like it will look nice and in the script area section you will have the script that will uh, control the toggle button with the annual and monthly price so in here you will need also to add your monthly and annual prices if you don't need annual monthly prices, you just remove the toggle and let only the cards and remove the script and this will be the code and right now let's go and uh, add this pricing table in a, a website so let me open the dashboard and in here i will uh, create a new website and in here when i will create a new website i will just want to choose a theme so you will see that this will work with uh, like a normal theme from the card repository so this is the theme let me remove these elements that are in here because I don't want to add images. We're just interested to see how this is working. Card will not let us create a website if you're not removing this. So this is the website. What we can do now to add this element, we can go in here and we can add a container. Okay, let me drag it after this. And this empty container in here will add an embed code and this in this code area we can add a code element let's say like a price to have a name and in here in the style we let in line and we just add our code with our modifications we hit done so right now the code should be in here if you want to align the text to the left you just align the price to to the left but all of this code it's centered so we let it like this so right now we should be ready and uh, what we can do is to go and uh, see how this is looking let me save this and i will add the name a title test price table i will add a description i'll publish this url so you can see let's choose a name okay I'll hit publish. Okay, right now let's go and view the site. So this is the website. And uh, in here you have the pricing table. So you see in here that the table it's looking nice. Of course you can uh, 
modify some of the things that you don't like so you, you see in here that you have a pricing table that is looking nice and it has a toggle that it's working and if we are going to check to see if this thing is responsive you are going to see that the pricing table it, it looks nice in in this uh, layout also so like this you are adding a pricing table to your card installation on a budget i hope you enjoyed the, the video please don't forget to like and subscribe